I got up to see the sunrise and let's all be surprised because I'm not a morning person. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here though, my name is Hannah and I upload beauty videos every Monday and Friday. Feel free to stick around and subscribe. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. As you can tell by the title, today's video is going to be a chit chat, get ready with me. I show you how I, you know, did my makeup while also telling you about a really exciting um, beach condo vacation that I went on. So if you want to see and hear about that, make sure you keep on watching. I've already moisturized my face and primed my eyes once again, of course, but just wanted to mention that first. The eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using in this um, chit chat, get ready with me is the iconic London Day to Slay eyeshadow palette once again. So I'm just going to kind of tell you about this sequence of events of this vacation while I do my makeup. I hope that you enjoy this. I'm also going to include video footage and pictures as well. First of all, we thankfully got the condo gifted to us, so we did not have to pay for the condo. We did not have to pay for the cleaning fee or the parking, and seriously, we are so grateful for that. Um, it was a group of seven of us who had this condo, Actually, we had two condos though because there was a bit of a mix-up So we had one for all four nights and then we had a larger one for the two nights in the middle So we had a condo from Thursday night to Sunday night Thursday night. We had one condo Friday and Saturday we stayed at a larger condo. I mean Thursday night like we don't get me wrong We were still thankful for that. I'm not trying to sound like mm -hmm. yeah, it was smaller um, I was seriously so thankful for like anything that we could have gotten. I mean it's amazing, but we had the larger condo Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday night we went back to the original condo. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I just wanted to explain that first. So Thursday night, I will include um, a picture of the condo, the first condo that we stayed at. I didn't take as many pictures of this condo um, because for uh, I just, for whatever reason, I did it. It was really, really nicely decorated. And of course it was, um, you know, a beach, had a balcony that overlooked the beach. Really, really beautiful. Friday morning, I got up to see the sunrise and let's all be surprised because I'm not a morning person. The only other time that I tried to, you know, see the sunrise at a beach, it was cloudy and I never tried again since then. <laughs> So um, I am glad that I went ahead and did that like the first morning that we were there because I feel like probably wouldn't have happened or it would have just been harder to do if I tried to do that on a different day. So pictures of the sunrise here, it was so beautiful. It was chilly on this trip because we had a cold front a little bit before. So it wasn't, you know, like in the 80s or 90s, but it wasn't freezing, but it was a little chilly. But seeing the sunrise on the beach was beautiful, but I did go back to sleep after that. I got kind of a late start to the day um, because I went back to sleep after that because I, I needed some more sleep. So early afternoon on, why did I say it like that? Early afternoon on Friday, we went to the other condo and I got a video um, when we first walked in, like before we put our stuff in there and that kind of thing. I'm just gonna include that here. This condo was four bedrooms and three bathrooms. I didn't show all of the bedrooms and bathrooms and I apologize that the footage is not the best, but you can kind of get a general idea of how beautiful this is, hopefully. I also include a few pictures later on as well. This is the master bathroom, so I did show footage of that. Yeah, this condo was around 2,000 square feet and I seriously am still not over how beautiful it is. Like for example, I got up close pictures as well. Like let me, let's just look at this table. Those are seashells underneath the glass top. I, I mean, I, I, I just, I cannot get over it. It's so beautiful, so nicely decorated. Um, and also we had the condo on the end, so most of the rooms had a view of the beach. Like the, obviously the master, like the beach was right here, but then the other bedrooms were on this side so you could kind of see the beach, you know, from an angle. And then there was one bedroom that did not have a, you know, view of the beach, but that was okay. Still, still a really nice room. So that day was a little bit more chill. We kind of, you know, looked on the balcony. I read a little bit. 
while sitting on the balcony. Then we also went to Gulf State Park that we were gonna try to do like some hiking, but by the time we got there, it was pretty chilly and the sun was about to set. So we did go there for a little bit and we did get this video of, the, of this, like I don't even know, I can't even guess how many birds there were, but I would guess around thousands, hundreds, I don't know, so many birds, but like look at this video footage um, because like, I've, I'd, I'd never seen anything like that before. It was so interesting, and I'm really glad that I got a video of it. I hope that you can kind of tell. Obviously, it's far away, but um, yeah, like, that was really, really interesting to see. Then that night, I made dinner. Another thing that I really loved about this trip is that we cooked most of our meals there. It was just cool to kind of have, like, a family dinner kind of situation, you know, almost, with a group of friends. It was just really great. So I made a dinner that night. And um, then we also, oh, we also we had, an, there was an indoor pool, which was good because like I said, it was kind of chilly. So after dinner, we went to the indoor pool. Then after that, we watched a movie there. I don't, I cannot remember how big that TV was, but it was, yeah, it was a really, really big screen. Almost, I mean, not quite like I was a theater, obviously, but it was a really, really big screen. So that was cool. We watched a movie then you know that was it for the night going to be using the becca backlight priming filter so that was it for friday the next day was saturday obviously one of my friends made french toast it was delicious for you know for breakfast obviously um yeah it was so good also of course i brought coffee with me they had both a keurig and a coffee maker because you know they had to have options obviously it's a little bit of sarcasm in case you couldn't tell like I just, it was, it was so nice. That's what I'm kind of hopefully portraying. It was so nice. Um, so yeah, French toast. Then we got ready for the day. Oh, also if I didn't already include an, an outfit of the day for the previous day on Friday, I will include that now. That was on the balcony of our first condo. So then Saturday, um, after breakfast, let me show you the outfit of the day and with this huge mirror that was in the master bedroom. Anyway, that was my outfit of the day. And there was an art festival that Saturday, so we spent a couple hours there. I didn't buy anything, but you know, some of the girls did. And it, if anything, like it was just nice to see the different art. Like I, I can appreciate art, it was really pretty. So yeah, we spent a couple hours there. Then after that, some of the girl, ooh, okay, did not mean to do that. Some of the girls got lunch there because there were food trucks. And then some of us went back to the condo to eat leftovers. I was in the group that went back to the condo and ate leftovers had leftover tacos from one of the previous nights. Thursday night, um, we had tacos for dinner. Then after lunch, we had like a, about like an hour to kind of like recoup and that kind of thing. Our condo was really, really close to the Gulf State Park, which is also where the art festival was. So then after that, we, some of us went to the Gulf State Park to hike, but it was, you know, mostly flat. Like it was just like a really pretty like nature walk kind of situation. So some of us went on that for a couple hours and then um, the rest of the group, I was on the, I went with the Gulf State Park group and the rest of the group kind of just chilled at the beach for a little bit. And it was still, it was, you know, a little chilly, but it was still, this is the Dr. Brandt. Uh, needles no more eye to puffing gel. It was chilly, but obviously it was still pretty. I mean, it was the beach, you know? I also forgot to mention before, I'm trying to kind of have a keep a sequence of events, but the condo was at Gulf Shores, so which I feel like makes sense, Gulf State Park. So Gulf, uh, Gulf Shores was where the condo was, and then Gulf State Park was really nearby. Then we got back to the condo, and I didn't see the sunset on the beach, but I did see it from the balcony, obviously, you know, once again, it was a little chilly. Then that night, one of the um, other girls there made dinner. It was really good as well. After dinner, of course, we went to the indoor pool again. I'm just mixing up the two shades of the Stay Naked foundation that I have. We went to the pool again. Um, this, so this was Saturday night. And then kind of just had good quality time after that. A couple of the girls, I think it was a couple of them, I'm not sure who all made the cheesecake, but they made um, cheesecake, like these mini individual cheesecakes in little muffin tins. There's four different flavors and they were delicious. I love cheesecake, so good. So um, we had that for dessert after we came back from the pool. We also played a game and talked for a while. That was such a long day because I had so, like, 
so many good times like the whole trip was amazing it was really really great but i did not get much sleep so i was very like i just you know don't sleep the best in general anyway and then obviously you know i wasn't at home so you know couldn't sleep the best not mad at it but i was so so tired so yeah there's that. The next day was Sunday. One of the other girls there made breakfast quesadillas. Also amazing, also delicious. Seriously, all of the food, the entire trip was so good. I love that we cooked because first of all, I mean, it just saves money in general. And it's, you know, it's, it's, I don't know. Like I like going to restaurants, but it's also cool just being able to sit around at the table whenever it's just, you know, like your group at a nice condo and you know have a meal for breakfast i usually was doing my makeup whenever it like first got done so then i ate afterwards i think usually on the balcony but for dinner you know it was obviously nice being able to just sit around the table and have a nice dinner it was like a really really fun experience a lot of quality time this weekend or it wasn't necessarily a weekend because it was it was like a mini vacation i'm not sure how you know, necessarily you would classify that so sunday morning after breakfast we had to go take our stuff to the other condo which i mean it was close by but we didn't have that con the bigger condo for sunday night so we had to go ahead and move our items back to the other one and then also not everybody was staying the night on sunday night so some people you know just left their luggage in a car you know and then we went to church afterwards it's a really nice church i enjoyed it after church we went back to the condo to have leftovers for lunch you know there was different things i think i had oh i brought chicken salad i made that beforehand and i brought that over i think that's what i had for lunch that day then we also watched um some youtube videos we spent a little a little too long at the condo because we were planning on going to bellingrath but by the time we had eaten lunch and everything like that because bellingrath i think was a little over an hour away i mean it was still close by don't get me wrong but it closed at five so by the time we got to bellingrath we wouldn't have had that long and you know we kind of all agreed like you didn't want to pay to get in and only have an hour or an hour and a half there so we just kind of did some exploring also kind of somewhat in the area as well outside got some cute pictures and that kind of thing had some good quality time then um some of the girls went back because like i said they weren't staying the night and then the rest of us who were staying the night went back to the condo for a little bit and i kind of was crashing at that point because i was so so tired so i just kind of um took a little mini nap and i was somewhat planning on going to dinner like here's the thing like you you could go to dinner or you could just stay there but i was so tired that i just i decided to stay at the condo that night and eat leftovers for dinner and then um, some of the other girls went to dinner that night and also totally fine but i really like recharge whenever i'm by myself so i you know like ate dinner in bed while watching hulu and it was so great because you could you know I, I pot i muted it on commercials obviously and you could hear the ocean um it was just it was such a cool experience i read a little bit and whenever they got that back they all looked so tired and i was like hey guys like what are we gonna do now because i was recharged but they were just looking at me like we're tired but one uh, me and one of the other girls there did go and stargaze a little bit on the beach and by a little bit i think we were there for like 10 minutes 15 minutes max because it was chilly but I mean, it was cool and I, I'm glad, you know, that we did because like I could say, you know, I did stargaze at the beach and it was, you know, also obviously relaxing to hear the ocean and see some stars. So that was nice. That was our last night. And then the next day was Monday morning. We had to be out of the condo, but some, so, you know, obviously we packed up our stuff. This is the Revlon Banana Light Baking Powder. So we packed up our stuff and then we also, the group of us that were still together did some things around Foley that like just did some touristy things around Foley that day. Like we went to a um, museum, a coffee, sh ooh, a museum, a coffee shop, some thrift stores slash consignment shops. Like one was a thrift store, one was a consignment shop. Also, I didn't include pictures of 
the group of girls in the video just because, you know, for their privacy. I don't know if they would want that or not. Like, they were just on vacation, just chilling. So, you know, I'm not trying to be narcissistic and only have pictures of myself. It was a great group. Great quality time. As you can tell, I went ahead and finished the rest of my makeup, but then while I was finishing my makeup, I remembered we actually did go down on the actual on on the beach rather than just looking from our balcony one of the nights to see the sunset at the beach and it was really really pretty a couple of my friends took pictures of me thankfully thank you shout out to you um while the sun was setting once again i really hope that i did come across as being very very thankful for this trip seriously so thankful if you enjoyed this video i think you'll also really like this video right here make sure you just click right here once again feel free to stick around and subscribe i upload beauty videos every monday and friday thanks again for watching and i will see you in my next video